Welcome home racing fans. Well, we're taking a look at some very interesting cars. These are the latest in the start series from Skeletric. Now we've seen some of these in the past. This is all new packaging. As you can see, just simple blister packs. I like simple. It works. As much as we need cars for the advanced enthusiasts, we need cars for those on tighter budgets, younger racers, and these are just perfect for it. Um, you know, just simple packaging. They have decals on the inside. These are damage resistant, not indestructible, but damage resistant cars. And they're just based on uh, generic molds and shapes, which again, I like. Younger racers really could care less. So we're not gonna count rivets on these. But anyway, at an entry price of around 25 bucks, uh, it's just great to see these. We need cars like this for our hobby. So we're gonna take a closer look. I think you'll be surprised on the inside. Okay, just to give you a little example here, I've opened up a pair of them. The, uh, the endurance car, the Lightning, uh, kind of an LMP looking car. And of course, a open wheel Formula One type car. Um, inside the package, you have your decal sheet. These are just peel and stick. You have some replacement guides, uh, plates with the braid. Um, and you can just follow the, uh, the box art right here. And that shows you pretty self-explanatory how to peel and stick and put the decals on. So that's pretty simple and easy. A lot of people like to do that kind of thing. I know that my, my young grandchildren enjoy doing this with their papa, so maybe that's something for you, uh, you parents out there to think about. Adds a little creativity, lets people uh, design them the way they want. So anyway, we're going to take a look on the inside, but uh, you know, pretty simple, pretty basic, and I like that. That's exactly what we need. All right, so now we're looking inside here, taking the bodies off. You can see they all have the same motor. Just a standard Skeletric motor. I bench tested these. They're all right about 20,000 RPM, 20 to 21. That's about as even as it gets. The Formula One car is interesting using the, uh, the standard motor, not the slim can, which is fine by me. I like that motor. It's a little milder, especially for smaller tracks. Um, the LMP chassis, uh, we've talked about this a long time ago. If you notice this chassis, how flat it is, has some reinforcements here. Uh, for those advanced guys, those scratch builders, you know where I'm getting at with this. This is a this is a great platform. So if you're looking for something to scratch build with, you know, for 25 bucks, um, I think here it is, right here. Anyway, and here's the the rally chassis. You know, all of these are just you know in line, 9027 gearing. You get a really good bar magnet back here. Helps keep the cars pinned down on plastic track. So again. Nothing fancy, and that's exactly the way it should be for cars like this, especially at this price point. But they have a lot of potential. Newcomers should enjoy them. I know that uh, advanced guys, scratch builders, well, these might be the platform you've been waiting for. So just a quick word on the inside for the LMP and the rally car. You know, there are no interior trays or anything like that, no driver figures. That's fine. You have some tinted uh, plastic glass here, and... Uh, that works well enough for these cars. So, just a reminder. Okay, so if you're interested in some aftermarket tires, I suggest some Paul Gage urethanes for these cars. Uh, a good thing about the uh, the LMP style car and the rally car is basically they have the exact same wheel. They have a different design pattern on the outside or insert, but they are the exact same dimension, so they take the same tire. My recommendation for that tire uh, is a Paul Gage 1912-4 LM. That's a lower profile tire. It fits these wheels really well. And um, just a slight, uh, little slight crowning, but urethane will sand itself over time. And that's a great, uh, as you would call, plug and play tire. Uh, for those of you average racers out there, just um, wanting to put a better tire on there for yourself or your kids or whatever. Perfect tire to put on there. And it does increase the grip. It lowers the car a little bit and gives this magnet a little bit more power on your plastic track. For the F1 car, um, I like the 21-12-2 Paul Gage tire. Uh, that seems to be a real perfect fit for this for this car and that wheel. Again, uh, the, the wheel itself has got a little bit of a coning uh, on the plastic, so it's going to be real hard for, for silicone to fit that. Uh, optimally, so that's why I'm going with Paul Gage. So 21 12 2 
for the F1 cars and 1912 4 LM for the other two. All right, just going to give them a quick test run here out on the wood track. If you have plastic track, you have no worries. These cars with the barred magnets, they have plenty of downforce. They run just fine on plastic track. But I thought some of you would like to know on the wood track how they run right out of the box for a $25 car. All I've done is add Paul Gage tires, you know, just for our track surface. And I got to tell you, well, anyway, <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. Okay, well, I have no complaints here. Uh, just a little four or five lap burst shoot out here after I've been testing the cars. I got a best lap there, a 2.951. That's that LMP car. That's pretty much, uh, you know, the, the fastest of the bunch, but they're all pretty quick, very smooth. I mean, just a tire change, $25 cars. I, I got to say, uh, these would be great for a lot of you guys out there with wood trucks that have... Uh, younger racers, children and stuff looking for cars to, you know, just to let them play and enjoy on the track. I think they're perfect for that. But honestly speaking, in the hands of some advanced enthusiasts, like, you know, a lot of you are out there with your skills, you can really get these things to haul the mail. But anyway, like I said, I have no complaints. Well, there you have it. There's really nothing to complain about here. You know, those kind of lap times really don't mean a thing. Um, you know, these cars are designed for the you know, budget racers, the younger racers, and that's exactly what we need. And I mean that we need cars like this in our hobby. We need low cost cars that, you know, you really don't care what happens to them to let people just have some fun, whether those be kids or beginners, just to beat and bang on your track and introduce them to the hobby. These are what we need. We have plenty of high dollar, high end competition cars out there to choose from. If that's what you're into, then do that. But I tell you what, as a wood track owner, you know, it's nice to have cars like this just for those times when the beginners come around. So uh, I, I'm i not going to apologize. Hats off, Skeletric. These are great cars. I've had fun playing with them with just a tire change, just some, just some good tires for my track. And you saw how smooth they were. So anyway, I have to give the thumbs up. I really like seeing cars like this. And I hope that we see more in the future. Well done, Skeletric.